Blast Class YouTube fans, something a little bit different today. We've got Captain Eric Newman from Journey South, and he's taken us, well, out here offshore at an undisclosed location I can't reveal. Um, but I've got Team Z-Man with me. I've got Shane Clevenger. He's marketing director for Z-Man. That's right, that's I've right. got V-Man, Jay-Z, back there. He's the man that makes it happen for Z-Man. And then we've got Joey. Everyone knows Joey. I mean, he's probably the most familiar face in the Z-Man family. Everyone, Everyone's looking for a bait. They're looking for Joey. So uh, we're going to do a little triple tail fishing and um, maybe some snapper fishing. I don't know. I don't know what Eric has in mind for us today. Well, we're just going to bump around. Class YouTube is brought to you by Aqua Traction, your go to solution for advanced marine flooring. It's in the front cup holder on the left. What do you got us doing today? Right now, we are doing a little triple tail fishing. We're hitting all these little platforms all around the Mississippi River Delta. Um, triple tail fishing is kind of becoming real popular here, so there's really not. It's not a secret anymore, <laughs> but um, you know that's good and bad. We uh, we have a very unique triple tail fishery. Um, they're giants, and they're um, all spawning, so they can be caught on soft plastics such as Z-Man's. Um, some people use live shrimp, live bogies, knocker rigs, slip corks. We're doing half ounce and three quarter ounce jig heads, headlock Z's on Z different colored Z-Man's. Um, one thing that I'd really like to stress is a lot of these fish are fish of a lifetime for people. So even though you're allowed to keep five a person, we promote people only keeping a few and it's the smaller fish. Because yeah. that odds are those are males and the big giant females are the ones that are over 20 pounds and that's the brood stock. And um, one thing about triple tail is it is the fastest growing fish in the world right there with a mahi mahi. But what people don't realize is, is once they reach a certain size, their growth completely shuts down. So a 20 pound triple tail is roughly seven to 10 years old. So their, their prizes, their fish of a lifetime. So treat them that way. I think it's nice, man. My, probably a bull red. Yeah, like oh, we're so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> this just sucks. Totally an awesome redfish. Got them under control. Got the big gulf net. I'm used to catching stuff in one foot of water. A little bit different. <laughs> Captain Eric called that one. It's definitely a big red. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They'll be in here early in the year, April, May. Those red snapper kind of migrate around. A lot of people don't realize that. But yeah, so you catch. Right, so bull reds are a bycatch here. Yes, sir. Bull reds a bycatch. Big Not black drum sometimes. Joey. Joey catches all the catfish. Catfish Joe? Yeah, that's Joey, catfish Joey. Come on, man. <laughs> Is a good one. Shane, I'm gonna get some 
they do so much. They look so different out here. They're yeah, don't they? Not a pumpkin color. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice job, Shane. Yeah, that's cool. Really nice job. This is where you wish you had a bigger stick. No, that's a perfect stick for this size. Nice. Good job, buddy. That was great. I've been looking forward to fishing with you, landscape. This so this Rugs. one, uh, oh, this what's one. Louisiana regulation on it, Eric? Is this, is it 18 inches here? 16, sir. 16. Yes, sir. What do you think? Close to 16? He's 16. These are small males that you keep? Yes, sir. So is this one, is this one going for a ride or is this one going back in the drink today? That's up to you, sir. I'm, I'm fine with putting them back. Okay, let's do it. Man, my wife will never let me live that down. That is a serious hook, that diesel. All right, buddy, you get a reprieve. You got caught by a Floridian. <laughs> <laughs> so, see, yeah, You've both... seen a lot of our YouTube videos out here. It's a little bumpy. <laughs> You've seen a lot of our YouTube videos out here, and they've been on this Seaman Kicker Crab. Uh, and most of them have been catching redfish. But today, we're going to throw them around these rigs and we're gonna catch triple tail and we're using the new diesel this is the diesel eye it is a I think this is a six aught Eric tells me if you're not using a six aught you got no shot Good job, net man. Nice. <laughs> that shit is hard, man. I mean, just a few casts, and you got two just like that. That's awesome. That's awesome. This one's a little bigger, right? Nice triple tail. Again on the sexy crab. Big fish Shane. Pulled something off the rig. Captain Eric backed us off. Did he back us off enough? That's the question. Shane's not got a whole lot to say. He's holding his breath, right? <laughs> I think he's he's got a mom. When we first drove up, there was something on the surface off that right side, and before I could say before I could say anything, Shane was hooked up to something that was straight down. That was way off the rig. He came flying off the rig. And, off the rig, yeah. yeah. yeah pulling some, hard. Some big head shakes like a redfish. Pulling hard. Does 
going with marsh tuna. Marsh tuna? Yep. Yeah. Marsh tuna. Oh, line angle's getting higher. Boy, he's still digging. Yeah, you see the rod tip bouncing? Yeah. Telltale, telltale of a big uh, Jack Crevel. Uh, that first run was just like a Jack, man. That thing was Be a monster <laughs> yeah. Making Shane work for it. He got big shoulders, but he don't got bigger shoulders than me. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. I'll tell you what. I think it was like, oh yeah? He is testing out the, <laughs> the drag washers on that reel. I'm you glad see, I didn't. Man, people fly to all kind of fancy islands like the Seychelles and all that. They catch GT. They catch, they're, they're yeah, catch trevallis. <laughs> I think you should, just, you, you should just rename these Cajun trevallis. That's right. Cajun GT. Whole new business model. Got some good wow. alliteration too. I like that. Yeah, this, this one's going to be a... Uh, a wristed tail catch right here. He's going to be big. I don't even know if Eric's net's going to be big enough for this. I mean, you're putting some heat on him on the caravan. Oh, no. All right. Come on. You might have to have a part two of this battle. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's a good one, dude. This is like four minutes later. We finally got a look, and we have confirmed it is a huge jack for ball. I mean, huge. What is it, a 30 pounder? Oh, man. <laughs> it's on me. Look at that. Look at that. He saw Joey. He's like, he's like Shrek. <laughs> uh, I mean, this thing is. That's all Shane wants. Shane held up for one. Yeah. Good man. Good you now you, that's how you turn him right there. Get that rock jump down low. Yeah. <laughs> Z-Man outing turned into a Z-Man workout. Yeah, kind of glad you caught this one. Really am. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be back with part three here in a moment. Hey. He's still mad. Yeah, he's not happy. Is not happening here, buddy. Jacks and redfish and triple tail. Mad Jack. Oh my. Man. I hear you, buddy. I hear you. That's at least 20 pounds. Yeah. Man, that thing's six inches across the shoulders. You gonna be all right now? <laughs> Yeah, that fella, you can shoot him head first when you do Yeah. So it'll get good flow on The him. Cajun release? You were 18 feet of water, it'll be perfect. Right. Adios. <laughs> yeah. So what's what's pretty much the genesis of this trip? You got you got a lot of Z-Man personnel and pro staff out here in Louisiana. So that kind of started a discussion um, at Z-Man um, a couple years ago. So we've been trying to get down to hook up with Eric and spend some time down here at the lodge with him since uh, I guess right that was 2020 Jonathan yep. when we were first trying to get that started then of course we had the pandemic um, the following year we were booked and then I guess y'all had the storm come through and kind of wreck everything um, so we we're finally able to make it happen this year and uh, you know internal discussions we you know we weren't sure if we were going to make it a media event if we were going to bring you know um, uh, maybe join another company while we were down here but uh, after some discussion we decided to kind of make it a team event and I think it's important because we do a lot of these events where we don't get to fish together. We get paired with different captains, with different media personalities, and then you know we might tell fish stories at the lodge. But being able to all be together and you know fish with the team, it's been tremendous. You know, so 
Um, you know, I've worked with Glenn Young for 13 years, and you know, this is the first media event kind of type of scenario where me and him got to fish together yesterday, and we had an absolute blast. So there's tremendous value there. And we're getting to test a lot of cool stuff. Absolutely. That's it, dude. Yeah, I got a jump. Hey! Two triple tail. Well. No. <laughs> Back to the action. <laughs> Joey's got the right one. As soon as I saw him come up and jump, I knew because I remember you telling me that last night they'll come up and jump. The twin power. This one ain't standing a chance. That was a nice fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Missed, whoa. Him. Missed him. He turned. I know a little bastard did it to me earlier too. They're smart. <laughs> He's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up. Very well. Done. All right, I did it. And again, on the crab. Nice. You got, that, you got that triple tail yeah. out of the way. Shane's doing a little social media for the Z-Man site. There we go. Page. Everything's being caught. On Let's that get one like this. Get him like this. <laughs> you can't see it? the old flounder hold? The old flounder hold. You can't see the hands. <laughs> <laughs> that's the trick right there, make them look uh, huge. That's the Florida push. The Florida push. I'm playing. Uh, that's all right, man. I can take it. Good, Good job. Good job. Keeper? No. Shane, you you are the hot hand, dude. I love it. I'm trying to keep. And you'll notice how Captain Eric up. moves us away it. from the rig. That way, uh, well, Shane's appreciative. He'll have an opportunity to, to get this one out. Now, you do realize if this is a, a big gaff top, you will never live I'm this done. down. I'm done. But I got a feeling it's the right one. I got a feeling it's a triple tail. I got a feeling it's a triple tail. We're going to find out right here. It looked like it when it first came up. You never know. Fishing the rigs is all about mystery, the mystique. Is he shaking his head, Shane? Not really. No, I'm telling you. My boy is We got Jay Z on I'm the so net. Much experience doing this you gotta go with your gut, buddy. Yeah. Big redfish. Holy cow. You catch anything but big redfish? Mm. Mm. Is that on the crab again? Yeah. No, it's on our scented shrimps. Send That's what you called one of them last time. First, first chance Jonathan turned me on to this. He was wearing him out yesterday on his <laughs> chest. I went straight to it because of talking to you. Last week when you told me you were catching him on well, the same trunk. No one's going to complain about catching three to four, 35 to 40 inch redfish you, on sir. artificial out here. Woo! Thank you, thank nice you, job. Keeping yeah. him out of trouble. It's another Cajun Trevally. Uh, CT. He's getting a lot of The new CT. Line. Or maybe it's maybe it's a 30 pound uh, triple tail. They pull hard. They pull just that hard. hard. This is hammered. This old boat. <laughs> Everyone's just got their own opinion on what it is. It'll end up being a, it's kind of, it'll end up being a black tip shark or something. Oh, yeah. That's the fun part, man. You never know what's going to come up. Big redfish. Big redfish. Oh, man. That's a tank. Oh, yeah. Calm down, buddy. Nice. 
That's how it's done. That's a drummer boy. That's how it's done. Jonathan hooked up to what we don't know. <laughs> Would you walk by and get caught on something? It has been a melee today. Listen to that drag cry. Jay-Z was overdue. I was. He was yeah. overdue. Nice. I saw a little bit of color there for a second. Was he done? Big, no, no. big, big rusty. Big rusty. Oh, yeah. Come on, big buddy. fish. Keep coming this way. Gotcha. Yeah! <laughs> Nice one on the crab again. Wow, on the crab again. That's great. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> so we've been fishing all these rigs that Eric has been leading us to, and Shane is hooked up once again. Lots of bull reds, uh, several triple tail, and the occasional catfish. But and one big, one huge jack creval, and it looks like this one is fighting hard like a redfish again. I mean, and all the redfish have been in the, like the 36 inch class. Shane's had a propensity for catching them. Oh, nope, another, another big jack, another big jack. Oh yeah, Joey got him. It's all part of the game here on the rigs. We put our six hours in, we're gonna head back. Captain Eric's on the phone. Everyone's anxious to get caught up in their emails. What a day of fishing. All these rigs out here. Something a little bit different from Flat Scott's YouTube today, but we'll be back in the marsh tomorrow. <laughs>